Hey everybody, it's me like Ardo Lax and also known as Chinon Artie. I am going to be doing a rare um, unboxing review of Planet of the Apes for the PC CD-ROM. Petsy, oh, there. There it is. This is an unboxing review and um, showing a clip of some of the gameplay. This is actually the FMV sequence. But uh, as you can see, this is the actual box and it's really, it's, I don't know, looking at the design, it just shows an ape. And if you look closely, it does have the Statue of Liberty of that infamous ending from Planet of the Apes. Side, it just shows the same. It looks a little lazy the way it was made. It was just all black. And then after that, they made it, um, just put an ape right there. And then put a little mark right here showing it's Ubisoft and it's rated teen. And on the, in the back, it looks really not, I mean, it's kind of funny. <clears throat> Okay, Battle for the Planet Apes, and the description is right here, Fight for Humanity. And it's saying that, hey, you can even get attacked by some assassins and renegade baboons. And you join forces with, you know, your regular characters. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really into that movie, Planet of the Apes. I watched it, um, the one with Tim Burton, along with the new series of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. But as you can see, the screenshot is really not pleasing for me it's like <clears throat> I don't know it's like when I look at the box cover I was like wait a minute this kind of reminds me of Altered Beast but in the back it shows teen and then CD-ROM PC and it's by Vizio Viziware and Ubisoft and you know what's crazy is that this movie is uh, distributed by uh, Fox and I was surprised like what happened to Fox Interactive they actually made games like Die Hard Trilogy they made the Independence Day video game Die Hard Trilogy 2 and I'm surprised uh, this is actually um, distributed by uh, Ubisoft but looking at the cover and in the back it actually shows the features then it just went straight to m the minimum spec saying hey you can play this game on a 300 megahertz Pentium 2 with 64 megs of RAM, 16 gig, I mean 16 megabytes, I'm sorry, of 3D video memory. And all you need is uh, 600 megabytes of hard drive space. Because obviously the full motion video that's coming from Bic Video, uh, Bink Video, is being played through the CD. Now, the confusing part about this game is that this game was released like months later um, after the movie was released. I mean, everybody always wants a movie to be tied in after, like, for example, The Matrix or this and stuff. But this has nothing to do with the movie. This is more of a tribute to the cons, um, the, the original, you know, Planet of the Apes. Not the one that stars, you know, Mark Wahlberg, you know. And I gotta say, the controls really sucks. I mean, looking at the game play, when the game was released, it was so outdated. And I was just really, really disappointed of how I you know, actually got around this game. I mean, I kid you not, this game was released later on in the PlayStation, a year later, around 2002, I believe. Um, and then when I saw it on the PlayStation, I mean, this is actually the very first Planet of the Apes video game. And of course, Planet of the Apes came out, you know, around the 70s, but due to the video game crash of Atari's crash and stuff like that, they canceled the project, and this is actually the very first Planet of the Apes video game that ever has been released. I believe it also came out on the Game Boy Color, and I don't know, I haven't done that much research on this game because look how uninspiring it is. I mean, look at it. the controls is really, really clunky. Uh, the graphics is very, very dated. I mean, especially for its time in 2001. And wow, I mean, looking at the clunky walks and yeah, well, well, let's see what's inside the box. When you open the box, it's, I gotta say, it's very empty. All it had was that registration card, and I lost it actually. And there it is. It's still very clean, no scratches. It's actually clean because I, it was boring. And when it comes with two CDs, and you can see right here, Planet. Of the, oh my God. Wait. Man, the paint on this is strong, just like my Mortal Kombat 3 on the DOS CD-ROM. Um, the paint is very strong. It's very, it smells like plastic, or it's very, very cured how it smells. And I barely even use, never even really use this game. That's why it's so in good condition. And in history, yes, this is the very first Planet of the Apes game. And then there is no big manual like you expect on a big box like this. It's just the CD jewel case with the 
see these sleeves with the instruction manual right there with a right next to the eight space and it's in black and white printed in high gloss and it talks about the weapons how to jump I gotta say the controls are actually really good on the PC version than the PlayStation because the PlayStation was very very difficult to be to be developed with the controller scheme that time especially the DualShock controller was not really common that time or the analog controller that time and yeah this is a this is it I mean wow I mean this has nothing to do with the Tim Burton version or it's more of a tribute so it has a more of a, a fresh story but this is what you get out of it and I'll tell you how much I got this game for okay I bought it at the 99 cent store I bought it a year later around when the PlayStation 1 came out the I mean um, the PlayStation version of this game came out I bought it for 99 cents I went the 99 cent store just gra uh, just opened a year around around 2001 over here where I was living at first one because uh, I live here in Southern California Marina Valley and then after that I saw this game box and of course there was a lot there were actually three computer games for a dollar there uh, I saw this copy of Planet of the Apes they had like about only four copies and no one was buying them and then after that I only bought one copy then I saw a title called uh, Terminator Future Shock and I got that for a dollar and then there was a really really rare uh, seventh level um, a company called seventh level and it was called uh, Helicops and I don't know if I can still find that box. Uh, yeah, uh, Seventh Level de developed a game called uh, Battle Beast and even the Monty Python games. And they released, oh, here it is. I found it right next to my Terminator 2 box. Okay, stay there before you fall off in that class. I bought this at the same store, the 99 cents only store. Back then, the 99 cents store uh, was only 99 cents. When you go there now, they do have those $1.99 special or $4.99 special value prices. But yeah, this is this is what I bought there. I actually bought Terminator Future Shock, Helicops, and Planet of the Apes for only a dollar. And it's kind of crazy. I mean, this was a this game was very ahead of its time. I actually like this game. This game came out before G Police. Not Genome. Genome was I remember that game was actually a, a 3D game, kind of like a Command and Conquer clone, but yeah, I mean, look at the the word of that and graphics wise, three D environments with two fifty six colors and six forty by four eighty. Yeah, well, at least it's progressive scan, but because we're in the PC, but it's just two hundred fifty six color, not that sixteen the hi fi color. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that yeah, this game became a bargain software that no one wanted to pay attention to after it came out because. Uh, the movie already had came out on DVD later on and then the PC game came out which didn't have that much any publicity at all no publicity that's why and now everybody are into the new Planet of the Apes movie the first one that had James Franco and then the sequel later on had uh, Woody Harris along with Gary Oldman and I love those movies they're actually cool to watch but playing this video game look at that this is what you get, and you actually pay for what you get for it. Kind of looks like a iPhone game now these days, but on a on a forty inch. Yeah, I'm using a forty inch uh, monitor. Yeah, you know? but this game, I, I give this out of a ten score. <laughs> I gotta give it a two, at least uh, two points for the effort of them trying to bring the very first Planet of the Apes video game, and it was released on the PlayStation One, also on the Game Boy Color. I believe I don't know but looking at these textures if I deep into it you can see it look more better <laughs> and um, I really um, uh, this this is uh these are gameplay footage that came from a channel called warp pixels warp warped pixels he um, actually had the game running because my Windows 10 copy or my Windows 7 copy cannot get this game running because of the star force protection if you know what a Star Force protection was back in the days, it was the worst DRM protection because it always detects as a malware and it does make my computer run slow. Uh, when I had Windows XP from 95 to XP, the Star Force protection really killed the gaming industry for the PC when they used to release games in these clamshell boxes style. Not the big boxes, but these kind. And later on, I'm going to be making a review about Asian games that came out on the PC. Like this one, or you know how they package them. I even got Guilty Wears in this, and even Street Fighter in the PC when it came out. But I'll be talking about that later. But as you can see, this is the unboxing review of Planet of the Apes. How much you could get it for that time, 
I don't know how much this game is worth now because it is the very first, very, very first Planet of the Apes game. But thank you guys for watching.